Statue of late Philadelphia Mayor Frank Rizzo is now gone from outside the Municipal Services Building in Center City. After years of talk and debate, crews moved it under the cover of darkness. Matt Petrillo reports now on what some say is a painful piece of Philadelphia history. This towering 10 foot, 2,000 pound statue of the late Frank Rizzo was removed from the steps of the Municipal Services Building in Center City around 1 o'clock Wednesday morning. It happened under the watchful eyes of the National Guard and few other onlookers. I think they made the right decision to take it down. Should have been done years ago. Crews used a crane to lift the statue of the former Philadelphia mayor and police commissioner and place it onto a truck. This is the beginning of the healing process in our city. Unveiled just over two decades ago, the statue was a gift to the city paid for by yeah. Rizzo's family, friends and supporters. But for years, it has been a target of vandalism, including over the weekend, after protests over the officer-involved death of George Floyd turned into chaos. On Saturday, demonstrators tried to tear it down using a rope, but to no avail. And attempts to set the bronze statue on fire didn't work either. The former police commissioner and two-term mayor, Rizzo was seen as a controversial figure in Philadelphia, especially to people of color. He was a very prejudiced man. But the South Philly native is also remembered by supporters as a devoted, outspoken public servant who championed the city. He was the police commissioner during the race riots of the 1960s. Our city didn't burn when every other major city did. Joe Mastronardo uh, is Frank Rizzo's uh, grandson. Uh, he says despite his grandfather devoting his life to the city, his family was never made aware of the statue being taken down. Just moving that statue in the, in the middle of the night um, symbolically shows you what type of man Jim Kenny is. And the statue will be placed in secure storage by the Philadelphia Department of Public Property until the city figures out what to do with it. Meantime, the mayor said today the National Guard will be stationed outside of City Hall for the foreseeable future. And Philadelphia also has another 6 o'clock curfew tonight, but you couldn't tell looking at this massive group of protesters behind me. In Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.